Hi everyone, I'm back with another book review and as you know in the past I've done a few of these reviews and apparently a couple of books that I picked are from the publisher package so they reached out to me and asked if I could review a few of their other books on the topic of machine learning. I looked at the list and I clearly uh, mentioned that I'm not qualified to talk about many of those because I don't have uh, enough background in some areas. But when I saw this specific title, I completely jumped on it because it has all the three keywords that I relate to, which is machine learning, biotechnology and life sciences. And I know my audience can also relate to these three topics. That's why I am talking about this book and I picked this up over in the US. Uh, you can find this on Amazon and probably in other countries you can also find it on Amazon and this book is definitely not I started off a negative note there but I just want to make sure that you know for whom this book is not uh, designed for uh, this is definitely not for those of you with already established knowledge in the field of deep learning if you already know TensorFlow, Keras and traditional machine learning like scikit-learns then you may not get the most out of this book and who gets the most out of this uh, beginners who want to get started with machine learning and deep learning you'll definitely get a lot out of this book it says biotechnology and life sciences that's because they use the examples from biotechnology and life sciences like wisconsin breast cancer data set or protein classification but uh, but even others can relate to this book especially if you are a starter and when I say starter, uh, this is not a Python training book, although the first chapter is foundational. They talk about variables, functions, and they even talk about SQL and relational databases. Don't be intimidated. They did a good job in simplifying that concept. But uh, for biotechnology, you may be working with uh, uh, structured data like tables, but also be working with uh, databases. So it's very good to have that type of knowledge. In section two, and by the way, this book is divided into three sections. So that was section one. Section two is all about machine learning and deep learning. And this is where they introduce the concepts of traditional machine learning, support vector machines, and uh, random forest and XGBoost. And they also talk about unsupervised machine learning, including k-means and also dimensionality reduction, for example. And uh, when it comes to deep learning, they also talk about what you expect uh, uh, you know, a book like this uh, would cover, which is the basics of deep learning, including uh, uh, artificial neurons, for example, including activation function, loss functions. And the part I liked about that chapter is about natural language processing because that topic often gets overlooked in uh, many deep learning books. Why is that important for biotechnology? I think it's important for any topic, any, any uh, a field, because most of us, we try to find information online. We try to search online. Natural language processing is a great toolkit that you can use to efficiently sift through all of this online data and get the essence of what people are talking about. You can plot word frequencies, for example. And by the way, this book does a great job in talking about plotting also. They use Matplotlib, they talk about uh, uh, Seaborn and Plotly libraries, so just, <laughs> that I remembered, I thought I should mention about it. So natural language processing is also covered in section two. As part of section three, it's all about deploying your model so others can use your trained, uh, trained models. So in summary, this book is for those of you who want to get started uh, with machine learning and deep learning. And let me uh, again mention one negative thing, uh, not negative, but what the book does not cover. Yeah, the book definitely does not cover image analysis, anything that has to do with image processing. So if you want to pick this book up to learn more about uh, units and image segmentation, image classification, all of that, then this is, this is definitely not the book for you. Hopefully they'll come up with version 2.0 that includes that, but this specific book does not cover any of that. So this is not for image processing, image analysis enthusiasts, but for those of you who want to get started with machine learning, deep learning with some background in Python, even though they gave you uh, a little bit of uh, background that's needed. You do not need any special computer workstation at home because all of these examples that they use are uh, executable on uh, either Amazon Web Services or Google Colab. Okay, there you go, my honest uh, review about this uh, this book. Again, uh, useful for those of you with who wants to get started with machine learning and deep learning. So happy learning, guys, and I'll come back with another book review uh, in a few weeks then. Thank you.